Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is just rescale all these pieces so that they are of a consistent size. So that one part isn't massively huge and the other part isn't massively small, or a small part is huge in the UV map, but the large part is small, if that makes any sort of sense. So under UV materials, uh, what we want to do is scale UVs proportionately. Oops, I need something selected first. There we go. There we go. So UV materials scale UVs proportionately and then we can use arrange UVs to get them uh, within the bounds of the map. So other than that, uh, this piece needs to be rotated so it's a bit more horizontal, going in the same direction as the other pieces. Uh, again, we could do with this being uh, rotated a little, not a lot. Oops. There we go. And uh, if you recall our little switch thing, uh, we cut some pieces off and we're going to put them back now. So with the top edge selected, the short edge that we cut off from one of these pieces, we use move and sew and that will sew it back together again. Uh, nice and straight this time. Uh, last time it was kind of off and uh, it was overlapping itself and now it's just sat on there very nicely just be careful there aren't uh, bits of overlap going on you can adjust those you know as required or as necessary so let's make this uh, a little bit more straight there we go and then I think we could perhaps get a little bit more space out of this now if we arrange UVs whoops what on earth happened there arrange yeah I think I keep moving so instead of arrange it's my foolish fault so there we have uh, a UV map uh, well, let's straighten this one up sorry I'm getting picky now <laughs> there we go this one could do with a little strain as well not that I'm going to do anything particularly fancy with this uh, but if you were going to be you know you probably want to be a bit more uh, fussy so this piece it's kind of going to be on its own might even have its own map um, so you might want to think of expanding that and rotating it round but for our purposes I'm going with that for the moment okay so that is kind of UV'd uh, for a very simple prop and what we'll do in the next video is have a look see how that looks in uh, an external renderer okay so I'll talk to you then